Hello guys, welcome back once again. We are back for more Sandship content. Today's episode is going to be all about efficient steel production. That's the raw steel. Very useful material to have in your storage. It helps pay for a lot of things including those substance harvesters. And a few of our subscribers have been asking for a decent steel build. So we are going to supply you with one of those today. Now you might have noticed we're using our second account and that is because we are currently beta testing for the new update that is due out in the next couple of weeks. There's a whole load of new content. We don't want to release any spoilers, so in order to do that, we're just going to do this design on our second account here. But lots to look forward to with this game coming in the next few weeks. So that being said, let's get straight into our sandbox building and start to build this steel design. So the very first thing we're going to do is place down our synthesizer. We're going to phase this up and we're going to use a fast splitter here. Really try and maximize the iron input for this design. We're also going to be using fast belts on the iron parts again to increase that amount as best we can and try and maximize the output. So once we've got our fast splitter down then we're going to place two heaters down followed by the fast belt and then two further fast splitters. Now these fast splitters are going to go directly into two sets of mixers. We're going to place one facing up, one facing down and we're going to do exactly the same on the right hand side as well. And then simply going to place our exporters down to collect all of that steel once it's been produced, both top and bottom. Now we're then going to place a second synthesizer, again iron production, and we're going to do exactly the same as we've just done for the top synthesizer. We're going to place a fast splitter followed by two heaters, followed by some fast belt straight in to two more fast splitters. And again, similar to the top, as we've just done, we're going to place four mixers down, two facing up and two facing down. Now we've got the iron ore going into our mixers, we're now going to need to place some carbon synthesizers. Place the first one down here on this left hand side. We're going to revert to standard splitters and standard belt for this one. Once we place our splitter down, we're going to place a heater at the end of this belt and then a further splitter into the two mixers. And for the bottom half of this splitter, we're going to do a similar approach. Belt this down into a heater and then into the splitter like so. And we're going to do exactly the same on this right hand side. It's very much a mirror image here, keeping it nice and simple. Splitter into heater followed by one further splitter into the mixers. And exactly the same coming down to the bottom two mixers here. Now once we've got that down we're going to place three exporters down as we've done on the first set. However for this bottom left mixer we're going to place our exporter just slightly to the left as we're going to use another mixer into that exit point later on. Now we've got a quite healthy amount of steel being produced at the moment but we can get some more output out of this design with the use of some additional grabbers here. We're going to use two fast grabbers out of these synthesizers and belt this around using some underground belt to go underneath the heaters on both of these sides. Now on this left hand side we're going to use this underground belt and direct the carbon into this heater followed by a splitter and two further mixers here. Now as you can see the top of those two mixers is joined up with the exporter so both of those are going to be using that exporter there to accumulate that steel. For the bottom one we're just going to use another exporter to gather the steel on that one. Now we're going to do exactly the same on this right hand side here. We're going to belt this round into another heater. However, we've only got space really for one mixer here, so we can't split into two. In order to increase the carbon production ever so slightly and get a bit more output, we're going to place two slow grabbers here. We don't want to be taking too much carbon from these belts as they're going to be used for the above mixers. Using a slow grabber takes just enough to keep the output at a steady rate and increase the output to the bottom. Now in terms of iron production we've got one synthesizer left to place down. It's going to go right in the center of these mixers. We're going to use a fast splitter just as we have with all other iron parts of this build directly into a heater followed by another fast splitter into the mixers and for the bottom part of this splitter we're going to direct it round into the mixer with some more fast belt using a heater just before the mixer to get that iron into the mixer itself. Now with everything set up we're going to give this a run and we can start to see all of these elements feeding the mixers. As you can see here guys we're getting results of 22.45 steel per second. You can improve this slightly more if you want to make everything fast tech. However the costs will obviously go up quite substantially 
It doesn't use that much substance as well, which is brilliant. Keep them substance costs down so you can run other factories at the same time. You're going to have no supply issues with this material in the future if you incorporate this design. If we jump into the blueprint here, we can see it's not actually a very expensive build. 51k for everything involved. The substance expense and production is showing a little bit less due to the underground belts. However, you will still get that 22 steel per second if you employ this design. And again, looking ahead to the required materials, nothing really too stringent if you decide to incorporate this design yourself. That being said, you can obviously use standard tech. The results will drop a little bit, but you won't have to worry about using these gearboxes to create the design. We hope you enjoyed this one, guys, and we hope you'll be incorporating this steel design onto your sandship and you won't be having any of that supply issues in relation to that raw steel. We, of course, will be keeping you up to date with all the new aspects of Sunship that are due to be released soon. So sit tight and keep an eye out for our upcoming videos. We will see you next time. But as always, thanks for watching and bye-bye.